In the previous video, we learned how to use scale degrees to compare major and minor scales. For example, if I take my basic tetrachord and create a major scale, the first thing that we did was to lower the third scale degree by a semitone. And then on our way down to lower the 7th and 6th scale degrees to arrive at our natural minor scale. Now we can use both of these scale types as points of comparison for all of the other diatonic modes. For example, if I play my C major scale once again, but this time change the 4th scale degree. I'm going to raise it by semitone. I end up with what's known as the Lydian mode. If I change some other component, for example, the seventh scale degree, in this case, lowering it by semitone, I come up with the Mixolydian mode. So, working from major, in each case, I change just one scale degree by one semitone in one direction. Raised fourth scale degree gives me Lydian. Lowered seventh scale degree gives me Mixolydian. I can do similar derivations from natural minor. If I raise the sixth scale degree, I will get Dorian. If I lower the second scale degree, I will get Phrygian. Now there's one diatonic mode type that's left over, that's the Locrian. It's a little bit tricky because I can't move to it directly from minor. I have to go via Phrygian. If I take my natural minor scale, lower the second scale degree to create Phrygian, and now, in addition, lower the fifth scale degree of the Phrygian. I've created the Locrian mode. So this means that if we have a knowledge of major scales, we can quickly derive our knowledge of minor scales. And from major and minor, we can come up with all of the diatonic mode types and in a parallel form, meaning that our ears can make comparisons between them and start to recognize them by ear, by their characteristic interval sequence.